Everybody, Tabby, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you're new. Welcome to another video that I'm filming today. But this one is very exciting, at least for me. Hopefully it is for you. <laughs> um, but I'm going to be doing my December budget debt update. I think that's what I call these. Um, so basically what I'm doing is trying to pay off my debt and save, save as much money as I can so that I can pay off my debt and to um, buy a house very soon. So... I am writing down everything. I did my budget. I'll, I'll link my intro video and all the other videos in a playlist below just so you can catch up on this. I don't really don't want to spend too much time each video like re-explaining. But basically I went through my uh, my budgeting software which I use called YNAB, YNAB, or You Need a Budget. And it gives like really detailed reports about what you spend in each category and so you can take a look at that and see what your budget should be what you spend realistically on things, and I think that's the most important thing to make a budget is to be realistic with yourself. So, and then what I did was I broke everything on my bills and things down by paycheck, so I, you know, if you get paid bi-weekly, you kind of have an idea, like, okay, the first paycheck of the month, I need to pay these bills, and the second paycheck of the month, I need to pay these bills, and I need, like, this much each paycheck for food and gas and all that stuff, so... I just keep track of that. That way it's a little bit easier when it, when I sit down to like do my budget and put allocate the money to where it needs to go. And also um, with that budgeting software, it you budget every single penny. So it helps to see exactly where everything is going instead of just saying like trying to keep up in your head if you have like money for such and such thing. Because whenever you spend something, it takes it out of that line for you that you can see exactly how much you have left in that category. Where I am for now, so December, um, basically I have two credit cards in one student loan. So I have a credit card that I call number one because I got it first. It is it has a lower limit and a lower balance, but it has interest um, being charged on it. And then credit card number two has a higher limit, higher balance, and it does not have interest charged yet. Yet is the key word because it is going to be charged probably in April or May. So I this I need to start exploring my options if I want to try to do like a balance transfer card which is tricky and risky but um, I did the math about um, to see how much I would get charged for interest because if you don't know if you have a credit card where they say like zero percent interest for 18 months or 20 months or whatever you don't have any interest charges at that time, but if you still have a balance on the card, if you haven't paid it all off before the the it starts charging you interest, it's called accruing interest, then they're going to slap you with however many percent of what you owe. So right now, I owe about 5,500-ish, give or take. Um, just I just kind of rounded it to make it easier for myself to see how much I would owe. Based on the interest rate, I would end up with a charge of an additional around $1,200. That's a lot. So I need to weigh my options to see if it would be more beneficial for me to get another credit card to transfer that to that's going to have another um, interest rate period just so I don't end up paying an extra thousand dollars that I really don't need to. Or because I'm not, I know I'm not going to be able to pay that off between now and May unless something like miraculous happens. So Yeah, then that's that has um, like positives and negatives. Positive is I want to do a whole video about this about like credit and stuff, but I'm trying to buy a house and I really don't want to wreck my credit worse and trying to make it better. So if I yeah, it's probably gonna suck if I get hit by with that payment, but. I also, it's not good either to put another inquiry on my credit to get a new credit card, and it's not good to, um, that will lower my credit age because part of your credit score is the age of your credit history. So if you have a couple accounts that have been open for a long time, then you're golden. But if you have if accounts, at least even just one account that's newer, it's going to lower your average credit history. And I'm not very old, I'm only, I'm 23, so I haven't had credit for that long. So a brand new account is going to take that down. So that's going to lower my score. Also, so will an inquiry, but not as much. So that's um, something that I really, really need to consider. Like, I think I need to decide by, like, March on what I'm going to do. It's also not guaranteed that I'm going to get approved for enough to transfer either. So, um, 
Yeah. I'm honestly shocked that the bank approved me for as much as they did on that second credit card because I was only working part-time. So, yeah, I don't know why they thought I could afford that, but anyways. And kind of shooting me in the foot because I wish they hadn't approved me for that much or I wouldn't be in this problem <laughs> in the first place. So, anyways, all that aside, I, so credit card number one and two, so I was focusing on credit card number one because according to the Dave Ramsey, um, what's it called? That snowball, I forgot what it was called for a second, um, that you want to pay off your lowest balance first, that way you can put the money that you're paying for that toward the next highest thing, and then, then when that's paid off, put that money toward the next highest, and blah, blah, blah. So... I was putting all my extra money toward the credit card number one and then just paying the minimum or I pay a little bit above the minimum on the second one and but I need to switch that because I I want to at least reduce the amount they're going to charge me for interest on that it's going to suck so bad but um, because I'll end up probably like by the time I get paid off I'll end up owing a lot more a lot more probably double of what I borrowed in the first place so, I am switching gears now and I'm going to put all of the, like, the extra to the second credit card because right now the first credit card, my interest charge each month is only like 20 bucks. So it's, it's, I mean, I, you know, money I don't have to be paying, but also it's not that much in comparison to 1200 In December, so I switched gears and I paid 70 on credit card number one and then actually I was able to pay 560 on credit card two, which is way more than my, like, set amount. I think that was because I um, had a little bit extra because I was making money on my Etsy shop and I so I wasn't putting a, a bunch of money toward buying supplies for that. So it's not it's not making me enough to like recoup what my investment like initially on my business but it's been, like helping me now to pay for like things that I am I need to buy for it. So Hopefully that'll kind of start to um, outweigh each other. Like it will, I'll start being able to make money and have it sustainable and also to pay back uh, what I borrowed from myself to fund it in the first place. So um, that's how I was able to put it back so much toward credit card number two. And then my loan, I paid again $75 because that's what I'm... My focus now is not on the student loan because it's going to be around for a while anyways. Um, and once I get the credit cards paid off, then I'll be able to pay that off pretty quick. Um, I'm also paying um, some on my student loan. So I'm, there are payments in addition to what I'm saying I'm paying now because I have a program through my bank that rounds up my purchases and then puts that money toward, um, to, toward a student loan. Which is not a whole lot, but it definitely helps. It keeps the interest at bay. And then savings, I was able to add $303.33. I just take whatever is left in my two budget um, part in my budgeting app or my software. So um, that was $303.33. So my debt balance, here it is, drum roll, is $9,986.85. So it is officially below 10000 Hooray. I can't believe it because um, last month it was 10545 so that extra that I was able to put on the second credit card pushed that over the edge of 10000 so now it's at not almost 10000 but still. Um, and when I get charged interest on that one credit card, it's going to go up. It's going to go back to 10000 but I don't even care. I'm glad it's below at this point. And then so my savings balance right now is $1,469.47. And then my net growth for this month was huge. It was $861.89. So my net growth for the past few months has been like in the two and three hundreds. And now it's 861 because I was able to make that huge payment on the other one. And I also wasn't borrowing from myself to buy stuff for my business. So, so then I also um, added a spot in here for my year end totals. So... I just added everything up in the columns and, and saw like what I was able to do um, from August when I started this to December. So for credit card number one, a total I paid total one thousand seven hundred fifty toward that. I paid one thousand and ninety toward credit card number two, um, four hundred total toward my loan, and I put one thousand two hundred sixty-two dollars and thirty-three cents into savings. So my total debt balance right now. Um, I was able to reduce that by nine hundred ninety-eight dollars and eighty-five cents, 
wait, that can't be right. What I did there? Oh, I wrote that wrong. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> I was like, that doesn't sound right. So I missed a nine on there. It's so it's or missed the six on there. So my debt balance at the end of the year was nine hundred nine thousand nine hundred ninety eight dollars and eighty five cents. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, this shouldn't be $900, it should be like $3,000. <laughs> okay, anyways. So then my savings balance at the end of the year was $1,469.47. And then my total net growth, I added all that up, and it was $1,979.24. So I'm still in the negative as far as my net worth, but it went up like more toward the positive by almost $2,000. So then I wrote little, um, just like two lines on my notebook here about how each month went. So I'll just go back through to August. So in August, I started in the middle of the month, was able to put an extra towards savings because I had pre-budgeted part of the credit card payment from like the, I guess from the paycheck before. Um, and I said, so far so good. In September, I said very small progress, had to spend on credit card for business equipment, hopefully hoping to pay it back soon. Um, October says getting on track, didn't say as much as I wanted, needed shoes, didn't want to charge them. Next several paychecks did have overtime, which actually that did help. I did have a lot of overtime hours um, in the past few paychecks. November, I forgot to write it last month, but I wrote it again today, just so I can kind of remember. So it didn't say as much as I should, but business is picking up. Like I said, that's why I was able to not put so much toward my business, because it was kind of starting to pay for itself. And then this month I said total debt, total debt officially under 10000 need to explore options for balance transfer before interest accrues. So all in all, I think I did very well for the past, see, August, November, December, five months, five-ish, like four and a half. So I'm excited to see how this progresses. I'm hoping to get it paid off as soon as possible. Um, I originally calculated that it would take me until four and a half months. So in 15 months, oh, maybe I'll be able to pay it off. It's like a little over a year. I don't know. Hopefully I can pay it off in less than a year, but, you know, we'll see how that goes. If my business picks up and if I, fingers crossed, if I get monetized, that would help a lot. So um, anyways, let me know what you think. I know a lot of people have said they are also trying to pay this off or pay off their debt. And, um, and welcome if you are watching these from my no buy series, which is really going to help in paying off my deck so I won't be spending any money whatsoever on makeup well at least things that I unless I run out of something that's also that's part of the no buy thing go watch that video but um, I won't be buying any unnecessary makeup skincare hair care clothes home stuff um, so yeah that'll really 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 help because I think that was hindering me I know that was hindering me um, in the past from paying stuff off so like this video if you enjoyed it and if you want to see more and let me know what you want me to include in these videos um, if there's things that you want me to talk about specifically each month, um, like different topics or different things or whatever. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So I'll see you in the next one. Bye.